just do a quick test in this car and we'll do Derek's car tomorrow. Show how good the gear changes are with this Citroen. That Citroen can't find any faults with. select auto I'll actually count in between how long it takes to change into the gear when it un disengages the gear and when it changes to the next one and then we'll go from there. It's in auto mode because that's when they had nothing wrong with it. Right. No cars are coming, that's lucky. One, two. One. Two. One, two. One, two. And the one, two is actually as it feels like it's disengaged and then when it re-engages. One, two. and do it every time but I don't think we're going to be able to do it every time so we're going to have to just accept how it goes and what we'll try and do if I could we'll do it on cruise control but of course there's a lot of people about tonight just in standard mode in auto hopefully you can see it as it changes gear when I'm saying the one two part right and stop maybe you notice that clonk as well which is another thing that I pointed out to Citroen one two Let's show it with the power. One, two. One, two. See? Takes like two seconds to change into gear, to select into gear, to have power in gear. And I hope this proves the video. Tomorrow we'll go out in a 10 plate, which is three, year, uh, three months younger than mine and it has 18,000 miles on the clock as well. So Citroen, let me see what your technicians come back to. 
I really thought that a technician could diagnose things, but when they tell you, oh, it's not the worst one, oh, yes, I did notice the judder, and uh, wait until it gets worse, I think that's disgusting. If I ended up in an accident and got killed because I couldn't pull out in time or safely, I think the Citroen would be liable. Anyway, let's see what YouTube said. See? One, two. Every time it's one, two. Tweet the changes. And he even said that I could change up and down by the paddle control on the EGS. Why should I have to do that if it's an automatic gearbox? Automatic gearbox shouldn't have a delay. I'm sure on your technical it says milliseconds to change between gears or whatever. It doesn't say two seconds. And I think if you looked at the program on this uh, SD card as well, it would actually show you the G-Shock and that's a G-Shock because the amount it is between the gear it's disgusting, I don't know why I'm left in this that's five deals that I've offered and I haven't got anywhere near any of them and your, if your main dealer doesn't want to take the car why do they not want to take the car? 